workshop ta hocche graphics design er upore presented by brack university electrical and electronic club to ajker ei workshop ta ke design kora hoyeche emon bhabe jate amra mane eta tader jonnoi jara ekebare notun illustrator ta install koreche just like dekha gelo ektu age install kora shesh ekhon amra workshop e join dibo ekdom shuru theke ekta fresh fresh start deyar jonno তো এই ওয়ার্কশপটার দুই দিনের ওয়ার্কশপ সো ফার্স্ট দিনে আমরা শিখব হচ্ছে একদম ইলাস্ট্রেটরের বেসিক একদম বেসিক মুভমেন্ট বেসিক কিভাবে ড্র করব বা কিভাবে একটা পোস্টারের বেসিক ডিজাইনগুলো শিখব অ্যান্ড সেকেন্ড ডেতে আমাদের ওয়ার্কশপটার যে একটা পোস্টার বানানো শিখব যেই পোস্টারটা অ্যাকচুয়ালি আমাদের এই ওয়ার্কশপের ইভেন্টের যে পোস্টারটা সো ওটাকে আমরা আবার রিক্রিয়েট করার ট্রাই করব তার মানে হচ্ছে যে এইটার মাধ্যমে একটা পোস্টার কিভাবে শুরু থেকে শেষ পর্যন্ত সকল ইনস্ট্রাকশন বা সকল ইনফরমেশন দিয়ে একটা পোস্টার বানানো যায় সেটা শিখবো সো দেরি করবো না শুরু করা যাক আমি স্ক্রিনটা শেয়ার দিচ্ছি কেউ একজন একটু কনফার্ম কনফার্ম করব যে স্ক্রিনটা দেখা যাচ্ছে কিনা আচ্ছা ভাই আজকের ওয়ার্কশপ কি রেকর্ড করা হবে হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ ওয়ার্কশপটা রেকর্ড করা হবে এবং কারো যদি কোনো কোয়েশ্চেন থাকে সেটা ওই যে মেসেজে লিখে দিবেন আমি মেসেজ দিকেও চোখ রাখবো সো ট্রাই করবো আবার মাঝে মাঝে আমি তো কোয়েশ্চেন অ্যান্সার সেশনও কল করব তখন তো আমরা কোয়েশ্চেন করাই হবে বাট তাছাড়াও আমরা মানে মেসেজেও আপনারা কোয়েশ্চেন করতে পারেন আর যারা ক্লাসরুমে জয়েন করতে পারছেন না সেটার জন্য আমি ক্লাসরুমের লিঙ্কটা আমি আপাতত দিয়ে দিচ্ছি এটা পরবর্তীতে ইভেন্টে দেয়া আছে আমাদের ইভেন্ট পেজে সো সেখান থেকেও আপনি জয়েন করতে পারবেন যাই হোক তো আমার ইলাস্ট্রেটর স্ক্রিনটাকে দেখা যাচ্ছে কিনা জি হ্যাঁ দেখা যাচ্ছে ওকে थैंक यू তো যখনই আমরা ইলাস্ট্রেটর অ্যাডোবি ইলাস্ট্রেটর টা ওপেন করি আমার তার ভার্সন হচ্ছে 2020 এর প্রিভিয়াস ভার্সনও ইউজ করা যাবে কোনো সমস্যা নাই মোটামুটি সিসি এর যে কোনো ভার্সন इवन সিএস ভার্সন দিয়েও ডিজাইন করা যায় কোনো সমস্যা নাই বাট ইলাস্ট্রেটর 2020 তে কিছু নিউ ফিচার আছে যেটা আস্তে আস্তে আমরা শিখব কি কি নতুন ফিচার এখানে আছে তো যখনই আমরা ওয়েবসাইট ওপেন করি আমাদের কি সামনে এই উইন্ডোটা আসবে সো এখানে আমাদের ফার্স্ট অফ অল দুইটা অপশন আছে ক্রিয়েট নিউ অর ওপেন এবং এখানে একটা কিছু প্রিভিউ সাইজ দেয়া আছে জাস্ট এটা হচ্ছে আমাদের আর্টবোর্ডটার কতটুকু সাইজ বাই কতটুকু সাইজ সেটা দেখায় তো ফার্স্ট অফ অল আমরা যেহেতু নতুন একটা ক্রিয়েট নিউ করব সো লেটস ক্রিয়েট ক্রিয়েট নিউ ক্রিয়েট নিউ তে ক্রিয়েট করার পরে একটা নিউ ডকুমেন্ট উইন্ডো আসবে সো যেখানে আমরা অ্যাকচুয়ালি এই নিউ ডকুমেন্ট ক্রিয়েট করতে পারবো এখন একটা জিনিস ডিপেন্ড করে যে আপনার পিসি এর যে কনফিগারেশনের উপরে এক একটা মানে বিভিন্ন ভার্সন সাপোর্ট করার একটা কনস্ট্রেন্ট আছে যেমন তো দেখা গেছে যে যাদের একটু পিসি হয়তো দেখা গেছে লো কোয়ালিটি আপনার ইলাস্ট্রেটর 2015 অথবা 2016 এর ইউজ করতে পারবেন খুব বেশি ডিফারেন্স নাই অনেক সময় ইলাস্ট্রেটর 2020 হয়তো একটু ল্যাগি হতে পারে যেমন ওকে সো ওকে there is international students okay i will try to best but uh, important thing gulo ami bol ache english e bolo try korbo okay so first of all jeta kora jay je amader je window ta ashbe erokom nonton window create korar shomoy jeta bolte chilam je illustrator onek shomoy support jodi na kore to apnara lower version use kora jete pare prottekta almost sob version er i bishoyta similar almost thank you তো যাই হোক আমাদের ইলাস্ট্রেটর এর উইন্ডো তে ক্রিয়েট করার পরে এরকম একটা উইন্ডো আসবে যেখানে আমাদের কিছু প্রিসেট সাইজ দেয়া আছে লাইক মোবাইলের জন্য কি কি ধরনের সাইজ ওয়েবের জন্য অথবা ফিল্ম এন্ড ভিডিও এনিথিং বাই ডিফল্ট আমরা যখন এই যে ক্লাবের কোনো পোস্টার ডিজাইন করি বা কিছু তখন ইউজুয়ালি আমরা হয়তো দুইটা বা তিনটা স্ট্যান্ডার্ড সাইজ মেনটেন করি আমরা ইউজুয়ালি 960 বাই 1280 ইউজ করি অথবা 1920 টু 1080 পি ইউজ করি অথবা যদি স্কোয়ার শেপ করতে যাই তাহলে তো বাই স্ট্যান্ডার্ড এক হাজার বাই এক হাজার ইউজ করি তো নাও এখন যেহেতু আমরা আজকে একটা কোয়েশ্চেন ছিল এই সাইজের এই যে এটা কি মানে ম্যাটার করে খুব একটা বেশি এটা অ্যাকচুয়ালি হ্যাঁ কিছুটা ম্যাটার করে অ্যাকচুয়ালি কিভাবে ম্যাটার করে এটা আমরা নেক্সট ডে টু তে ডিটেইলসে বলবো কারণ দেখা গেছে যে আমরা যে পোস্টারগুলো বানাই সেটা হয়তো আমরা ডে তে দেয়া হয় অথবা ফেসবুক পেজে পোস্ট করা হয় সো ডে তে দিলে পুরো পোস্টারের সবগুলো পার্ট যাতে দেখা যায় সেটার জন্য কিছু সাইজ আমরা ইউজ করি তো বাই আমরা গো টু হিসেবে আইদার 916 টু 1820 সরি 2080 অর 1920 টু 1080 অথবা স্কয়ার স্কয়ারটা তখন ইউজ করে দেখা গেছে আমাদের কন্টেন্ট হয়তো খুবই কম খুবই হয়তো কম ইনফরমেশন আমরা শো করতে চাচ্ছি তখন আমরা স্কয়ার শেপটা ইউজ করি সো আজকে আমরা 19 916 টু 1280 করব 
first of all ekhane ami ekta file er name dite parbo so ami just basics then width ami custom jeto preset chiloi so kichu preset amar load hoye geche already ami chaile eta ke aro customize korte parbo first of all eta width detect mane width bole dite parbo height then ekhane pixels millimeter onek gulo option ache amra jokhon kono poster design korbo shudhumatro page e post korar jonno tokhon amra usually pixels e use kori but emono dekha geche je ami eto kono certificate design korbo othoba emon kono poster design korbo je eta hoyto amake print kore amader notice board e show korbe tokhon hoyto millimeters use kora better thik ache so by the way pixel i thakuk then as the orientation usually amra uh, <coughs> vertical orientation e design kori amra chale horizontal orientation e design korte pari next thing is artboards so artboard ta hocche je amra eta onekta page er moto word e jera ko amra multiple page e likhi to artboard ta hocche onekta illustrator ek ekta page er moto ami chale dui tinta page e design korte pari ekshathe and the next thing is uh, the bleed bleed er i part ta hocche amader ekta margin onek shomoy dekha geche je amra illustrator e design korar shomoy eta ke jemon print kora hoy printer e onek part kete jay to ek bleed डिफाइन कर दी सेफ एरिया डिजाइन भेतरे जाते बहरे डिजाइन करतेज ए रेजल्ट मेन डिजाइन टाइम प्रिंटारे प्रिंट होट केटे जाए देंगे एडभांस अपने क्लिक करी कलर मोड थे आर जिबी कलर और सी एम वाइके कलर এক্সকিউজ মি ভাই আপনার পপ আপ যে উইন্ডোটা আছে ওটা মনে হয় শেয়ার হচ্ছে না ও আচ্ছা হ্যাঁ থ্যাংক ইউ ইমরান হ্যাঁ বলো অন স্ক্রিনটা শেয়ার হচ্ছে তো হ্যাঁ সেটা আমি চাইছি এন্টার স্ক্রিন দিচ্ছি আমি ভাই ব্লিটটা আবার একটু বলেন ভাই হ্যাঁ শিওর আচ্ছা থেকে ইংলিশে বলেন কারণ আমি শুনছি তো ওকে সো আই এম চেলিং ফ্রম দ্য ফার্স্ট থিং ফ্রম ইংলিশ ইন ইংলিশ সো লেটস সি Uh, this is the window we will get uh, when we open the create new document in this document we will see uh, several types of uh, preset sizes here and from the here you can enter the name of the document you can set the width and height of the document and in terms of pixels or millimeters or everything now you can set the orientation in which the document will be oriented for example if you are designing an uh, certificate then the orientation will be in horizontal orientation and otherwise it will be in most cases we design vertically oriented posters so next thing is the bleed and bleed is the amount of uh, space we want to keep in our design that will be uh, that we do not want to design any things in that space for example uh, if we are designing a visiting card and the visiting card will, card will be printed so in that case uh, we want a special area for in which all our designs or all our names and credentials will be written and it will not cut uh, by the printer so for example if i say bleed into 20 pixel each for example this is 20 pixel and oh sorry i <laughs> created a new document okay let's see so it might take time if you are creating a new document uh, let's see so there are certain amount of bleed we can see if we uh, the ruler or guys so there is enough document 20 pixel each inside so we cannot see here but the, there will be included when it will be printed so now uh, let's come back to our uh, designing window again we want to create a new document without bleed actually so let's keep it that way so the next thing is the color mode and there are two options rgb color and cmyk color when selecting rgb color usually rgb color is a little bit brighter and cmyk color is a little bit uh, dull but the thing is when you are designing a poster only to be uh, posted in website uh, it will not be printed so then it will be uh, we should set the color as rgb color but when it is a printable document such as uh, like the posters or a certificate then you should select cmyk color document then there is raster effects raster effects is usually uh, the amount of curvature that is usually blurred or bitmap type so usually i set it to 300 pixel ppi and it is it stands for pixel per inch three high 300 ppi so let's create our documents here it is and as you can see there are lots of panels or lots of palette we call them palette in my right hand side of this document usually there are uh, some preset setup like which you can see the palettes for example if i choose automation 
certain uh, palettes will appear there or uh, if i choose typography such as if i am working with font so then typography it will only highlight the font related palettes here so when designing a poster for usually this type of clubs we usually select essential only the things that are needed for a designing purpose in this panel there are several common tools here the first tool we want to talk about is the selection tool and it is actually the as the name suggests it actually used to select everything every object so for example i want to select uh, i have created several type of uh, boxes or circles or anything so now i want to select each of them it can be boxes or it can be type text or anything any pictures so usually i need to selection tool or see the shortcut for this tool is uh, usually the v if you press v it will bring up the selection tool so, so let's delete this the second tool there it is a direct selection tool so if uh, why it is different than a normal selection tool if you select a box now if i want to select this box with the normal selection tool you can only select the box nothing else but if i want to select a part of the box such as the corner point or the edge of the box i want to now i have to select with the direct selection tool let's see if i now this i can move the corner of the box with my direct selection tool but i cannot move the with my normal groups for example i have several objects in my group and if i use it on direct selection tool i can only select the group to move it but if i use direct selection tool i can use the object inside the group and still the group will be object will be grouped the next thing uh, there is another group selection tool it is also the similar but the difference is for example i have created three object here i can change the color if you want to so there i first i let me group these two objects and the next thing i have to is these two objects okay okay so now i want to select all these four objects and group them now if i select direct selection tool uh, sorry group selection tool and click only once there i can select the first object although they all four are grouped and if i just double click them i can select the first two object i group and another click i select the third object and another click i select the fourth object this may also come in handy but uh, when designing normal posters we do not use them as much the next thing is a pen tool the pen tool uh, is actually uh, used to draw or used to draw a line or objects anything custom made shapes or anything when selecting uh, the pen tool let's remember if i click only once there will be start point and if i click again in any other position there will be another point and i can create as such but now if uh, su suppose i have created a wrong move or i have created a wrong point how to delete it without you going back to my selection tool or something let's place uh, backspace there and you can easily delete the latest point and if you want to continue the drawing again you can just click in there and there will be slash icon with your cursor you can click it and again start drawing now uh, let's see when to uh, draw curvature so if i click here and hold it and drag it you can see there is a little curvature there so i can use curve shape or curve document so this is why I use the pen tool for example now there are some other uses for the pen tools also for example i have selected the pen tool and first of all let me select the object and now i have selected the pen tool you see the corner points are highlighted there all the corner points are highlighted and now if i click on any of the corner points or hover on them you can see that there is a little minus sign in my cursor that's because it want, is showing me if i want to delete the corner point or something is actually called anchor point so if i want to delete the anchor point so let's click them and it is deleted and i want if i want to add another anchor point i can just hover on the edges and just click on them it is now highlighted 
so let's ask uh, if anyone has any question up to this part let's see does anyone have any questions okay uh, i guess not uh, can you know, everyone hear me Sure. Still, if you want to switch me to Bangla, I can also switch to Bangla. Or if you are comfortable with English, uh, that can be okay. So let's continue. Uh, first of all, there uh, we have learned how to use pen tool. And if I hover on the pen, uh, pen tool there, you can see an, another window pops up. And there are some hidden, also some hidden uh, tools there. So this is an anchor point tool. What anchor point does actually is if I select any carved point here, for example, this is a carved anchor there. And if I click on it, it immediately becomes a pointy type. So for example, if I want to design a circle and this is circle there, and I want to tie this point to be cornered. So let's click on the point. You see, this is now a type of pointy there. Uh, now I want to talk about some basic movement of Illustrator. For example, uh, let's I have to draw a circle. Now, when drawing a circle, I'm using the ellipse tool there, like hovering on it and using the ellipse tool. And the circle is usually not an uniform circle. You see, I am not actually I cannot set it as uniform circle. So what should I do? I should hold down the shift button in my uh, keyboard. So if I hold down the shift, it will increase or decrease as uniformly with an a uniform aspect ratio also if i want to draw the circle from the center you can hold down the alt button so you can easily create the circle from it centrally uh, like it's starting from the center okay so after that we have the curvature tool is actually uh, you have to just click another point and you can use curvature we don't use this tool as much because we don't usually work with curved surfaces Another thing in the uh, shape build is, is called the shape building tool. So there are several shape. I've already drew uh, ellipse there. Now there are polygon and star tools and line segment tools. What polygon does, it by default creates an hexagon like this. Now, if I want to increase the side of a hexagon, for example, there are only six sides there. If I want to increase the side, I have to drag it this point like plus or minus, and I can increase the size of the shape for example i want a triangle so i can set it to three or for i want to set it to a decagon is 10. so you can play with uh, with it a little bit and next thing i want to talk about the star tool it actually creates the star but if you want to draw as uh, by default it only creates a star with five points now if you want to draw increase the size so you can like press the upper arrow key up arrow key on your keyboard you will increase the side or the points and if you click on the down arrow key, it will decrease the size. And the next thing is a paintbrush tool. Paintbrush tool usually comes in handy when you are using it to, for digital artists. Uh, for example, we are only designing poster in this course, but you can also use Illustrator to your design uh, any digital artworks. So you can use brush tool for that. But when using a brush tool, I can, let me select the color first, for example, black and it actually drew, is not drawing anything because I did not drawing anything. So first of all, what we want to do, we want to use the brush palette. There is a palette, it actually draws anything, but it is actually white or white color. So let's go to the window. So whenever I uh, told you to open any window, you are not seeing it in there in the left panel. You can find it from the window panel there. There are all the windows or all the palettes are listed here. You just have to activate it. If the it is activated, you will see a blue tick there. And if it is not, there will be no tick. So let's go to the uh, brushes, brush libraries. And there are several brushes by default added with this. Let's see, we all want to use a elegant and floral set, brush set. And there are several brushes included there. Now, if I select a brush, brush palette, and use it with a brush tool there, you can actually create a Kind of use the color. 
you will see that. So now I can create a floral shape with my brush and I can drag it anywhere with it. Just play with it, right? Okay, let's delete it. Uh, so this was the use of the brush tool. There are another blob brush tool. We can use it with their shape and the another is pencil tool. And you have already used pencil tool in your paint software. It just draws any shapes, just to draw shape. So these are the basic tool you want to use. Uh, there are some other several tools in here. You can also use them from this panel. If you click on the three dot there. And if you want to want add them your normal palette, you just want to select it and drag it there. And you can add it there. The next important tool is the text or type tool. Because when you're designing any poster, the main thing you want to do, you want to say, give the information with text. So first of all, there are several type of text tool there. The type tool, type on a path tool. So let's first select type tool and just click, click there. You see, when I click there, a small text appears with a default text. Now, I don't want that. I don't want to type on an area. So what I do, I just click and drag an area that I want to type in. And you see, by default, a large, large paragraph is appearing there. Let's go to the properties window. If we don't see the properties window, you have to go to window and go to properties and activate it. And there you can see in the character palette, there are several types of font I can use. And some fonts have multiple variants. So let's select a font like Montserrat there. And let's see, this is the workshop. Workshop on graphics design. And the font is very small. The font size is very low. So let's increase the font size with this uh, window here. Set the font size. So now in Illustrator, if you want to increase something or decrease something, you can do it in three ways. You can exactly set the value like 200 there or 50 there, or you can increase by point like this. Achha. So uh, increase with this and uh, also the app. Achha. So also you can uh, use it with, uh, by default, uh, you can give it the value directly or you can increase or decrease with this arrow like this. Or another thing and you can just hover on it and use your mouse wheel up and down to increase or decrease the size. It comes very handy because always we don't know the exact size. Usually we uh, can set it to a desirable point. Now, what I was talking there, uh, that the, after we set the font, there are multiple variants of a font. So the variant will appear there and I can usually set it like medium or a bold variant. So this is the type of thing we usually use in uh, Illustrator to create text. Now problem with it, you can see if I increase the, decrease the size there, uh, the size of the box, the text actually rearranges itself. And if I decrease it very much there, you can see the text is hidden and a red box is appearing there which means it is telling us that some text are still inside the box, but it is not visible. So another thing, so we have to do what to uh, drag the box and uh, resize the box. Another thing is, you see when the uh, paragraph is there, you can see the hyphen it. It's telling that the word is not fully complete. It is where it went to the next line. So to delete the hyphen it, what you can do, you can click on the paragraph palette and you can uncheck the hyphenate option. So it will do what? It will shift the object in the next line without hyphening it. And there are several alignment options. We also use them in words, so you are familiar with it. Just central aligned or left aligned, right aligned, whatever you want. So this is the text tool. Uh, and after that, there are text on a path tool. You can see if I hover on it and select, this is the type on a path tool you will see that. So now I can create a floral shape with my brush and I can drag it anywhere with it. Just play with it, right? Okay, let's delete it. Uh, so this was the use of the brush tool. There are another blob brush tool. We can use it with their shape and the another is pencil tool. And you have already used pencil tool in your paint software. It just draws any shapes, just to draw shape. So these are the basic tool you want to use. Uh, there are some other several tools in here. You can also use them from this panel. 
if you click on the three dot there and if you want to add them your normal palette you just want to select it and drag it there and you can add it there the next important tool is the text or type tool because when you're designing any poster the main thing you want to do you want to set give the information with text so first of all there are several type of text tool there the type tool type on a path tool so let's first select type tool and just click click there you see when i click there a small text appears with a default text now i don't want that i don't want to type on an area so what i do i just click and drag a area they want to type in and you see by default the large, large paragraph is appearing there let's go to the properties window if we don't see the properties window you have to go to window and go to properties and activate it and there you can see in the character palette there are several types of font i can use and some fonts have multiple variants so let's select a font like monserrat there and let's see this is the workshop workshop on graphics design and the font is very small the font size is very low so let's increase the font size with this uh into here set the font size so now in illustrator if you want to increase something or decrease something you can do it in three ways you can exactly set the value like 200 there or 50 there or you can increase by point like this Achha. so uh, increase with this and uh, also the app Achha. So also you can uh, use it with uh, by default uh, you can give it the value directly or you can increase or decrease with this arrow like this or another thing and you can just hover on it and use your mouse wheel up and down to increase or decrease the size. It comes very handy because always we don't know the exact size usually we uh, can set it to a desirable point. Now what I was talking there uh, that the, after we set the font there are multiple variants of a font. So the variant will appear there and I can usually set it like medium or a bold variant. So this is the type of thing we usually use in uh, Illustrator to create text. Now problem with it, you can see if I increase the decrease the size there, uh, the size of the box, the text actually rearranges itself. And if I decrease it very much there, you can see the text is hidden and a red box is appearing there which means it is telling us that some text are still inside the box, but it is not visible. So another thing, so we have to do what to uh, drag the box and uh, resize the box. Another thing is, you see, when the uh, paragraph is there, you can see the hyphen it. It's telling that the word is not fully complete. It is where it went to the next line. So to delete the hyphen it, what you can do, you can click on the paragraph palette and you can uncheck the hyphenate option. So it will do what it will shift the object in the next line without hyphening it. And there are several alignment options. We also use them in words. So you are familiar with it. Just central aligned or left aligned, right aligned, whatever you want. So this is the text tool. Uh, and after that, there are text on a path tool. You can see if I hover on it and select, this is the type on a path tool. What it actually does is if I want to draw a path first with my pen tool, like this is my path. And let's select the type on a path tool and click on it. You can see the text is following the path. Now, if I want to write the same text basics on, uh, for example, graphics design. Yeah. Design. And you can see the text is following the path. Now, if I want to set the start point and the end point of the text, I can simply just use this. Uh, there will be a line there, so you can use it to start an end point of this. So this is the text on a path tool. And you can also find another area type tool or vertically type tool. It will just type vertically, whatever you type, it will do that. Now, another important tool is the magic one tool. What it does actually, if you have several artworks inside your account and there are several colored objects, for example, um, 
their box like this. And there are several in the color pad, I can assign where multiple colors there. And red. Now, if I want to only the, select the objects with pink color object, let me use the magic one tool and click on it there. It will select all the object with the pink color. Or if I want to uh, orange, or to only or select the orange color object. Achha. So uh, that's it up to now. Now I have a question. Uh, if anyone have a question, you can ask here. Or uh, do I need to go fast or keep this page that is at it is? So do you, does anyone have any question? Okay, I guess not. Does anyone? Hmm, Karoki, any question, sir? No, sir. अच्छा स्पीच की ये रखो फास्ट ये पेज था वो जाबो ना कि चास्ते बस फास्ट पेज जाबो ठीक है ठीक है ओके सो लेट्स मूव ऑन वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड हाफ ऑफ़ द पैलेट देयर एंड द नेक्स्ट टूल देयर इज़ अ रोटेट टूल ओह अनदर थिंग आई फॉरगॉट व्हाट टू डू वी कैन यूज़ दिस रोटेट टूल और पेंसिल � Yes, pencil tool was like this. So we usually use pencil tool. For example, if you have a uh, picture, let's say I want to trace a picture. For example, this MATLAB logo here. And I want to trace this object with, I want to create a shape based on this. So let's create a new layer there. And I can use this pencil tool to create like this. I'm just using fast forward. Uh, yeah. So if I hide this layer, you can see I have created a shape there, but there is no outline. So we can set the stroke from this panel and you can give it any color there like this. And we can also increase the width of the stroke from the stroke palette. If you don't find it, go to the window and find the stroke palette from there and just width weight of this you can increase or decrease the weight so after that uh, the, this is the use of the pencil tool there and next thing was a rotate tool but instead of using rotate tool you can create any object and if you select it you can see there are there are bounding boxes there the if you select any corner object corner point you can actually resize it and you can move it with this or you can rotate it with if you hover the cursor in the, any point in any of the anchor point there you can see a small rotating area or uh, rotating button appears if you select it or rotate it and you can drag it to rotate like this so uh, if you want to uh, for example you want to rotate it exactly as 45 degree so hold down the shift button and just drag it with 315 or 45 degree or 90 degree it will snap the exact uh, after 45 degree rotation uh, the, you can also use it a rotation tool like this you can select the rotate tool and just drag it to rotate and there are other tools like a scale which will use a scale and you can also reflect it and there are another important thing is the shear tool what it actually does it actually creates parallelogram from a square shape for example, this is a rectangle. I can select the shear tool and hover on it, click it and drag it. You can see it is actually creating a parallelogram there. Like this. And the next tool is the eraser tool. What it actually does, it actually erases anything. For example, I've selected this orange rectangle there and use the eraser tool and drag on it. It actually erases some part of the shape now you can, if i zoom in you can see the object are deleted in that point another thing if you want to uh, for example if uh, you're zooming in with this tool you can use the zoom tool there you can select it or click it or alt click it to zoom out or normally click it to zoom in but this is always uh, like cumbersome process. You can use the shortcuts on the keyboard as well. For example, if you hold down the Alt button and use your mouse wheel up or down, so you can see you can zoom in or zoom out. It will, it will show your exact zooming percentage there. You can choose any value there. 
or for example, you can zoom out. If you want to zoom to a fit window position, select the control button and zero button. So it will set the fit window for your current document. Uh, if you want to move the artboard, for example, if you can hold down the space bar, it will appear, uh, the cursor will change to a hand icon and you can drag it to move the object. Okay, so next thing is a shape builder tool. It actually uses to build various shapes. For example, I want to create a microphone shape. So what does a microphone have? It has a circular top. Let's see this. This is my circular top and then we have a square shape, which is the uh, at the part sits there like this. Let me say it. Yeah. And there are another shape, which is the handle for the microphone. I, I'm using direct selection tool to move this up box anchor points towards each other. Now I want to add all the shapes into a single shape. So what can I do? You can select all the shapes, select the shape builder tool. And then when I hover on them, you can see the ash, uh, it is turning into ash area or hovering on them. So you can select, drag, it will select the, each area you want to include in the shape. So I'm including all of the object there. So I'm just hovering all of on on them. And you can see it is kind of a mic shape. If you want to undo, just control Z, it will select the undo. If you don't want to include this rectangle there, you can select the shape to like, shape builder tool again, circle and to this box, sorry, zoom out. It will, it will show your exact zooming percentage there. You can choose any value there. Or for example, you can zoom out. If you want to zoom to a fit window position, select the control button and zero button. So it will set the fit window for your current document. Uh, if you want to move the artboard, for example, if you hold down the space bar, it will appear, uh, the cursor will change to a hand icon and you can drag it to move the object. Okay, so next thing is a shape builder tool. It actually uses to build various shapes. For example, I want to create a microphone shape. So what does a microphone have? It has a circular top. Let's see this. This is my circular top and then we have a square shape, which is the, uh, at the part sits there like this. Let me decide. Yeah. And there are another shape, which is the handle for the microphone. I, I'm using direct selection tool to move this up box anchor points towards each other. Now I want to add all the shapes into a single shape. So what can I do? You can select all the shapes, select the shape builder tool. And then when I hover on them, you can see the ash, uh, it is turning into ash area or hovering on them. So you can select, drag, it will select the each area you want to include in the shape. So I'm including all of the object there. So I'm just hovering all of on on them. And you can see it is kind of a mic shape. If you want to undo, just control Z, it will select the undo. If you don't want to include this rectangle there, you can select the shape tool, shape builder tool again, circle and to this box, sorry, select all of them first, so circle and this box or this circle. So I want only this part, you can see. Uh, the problem is I have to select the object accordingly, like this part, I can see only this, Well, this part is actually in a complete shape, in a uniform shape. Anyway, so let's uh, another tool. The next tool is a gradient tool, and you can always use the gradient to uh, uh, make any gradient fill options there. For example, I want to build a shape, and the shape is always solid color. There is no gradient. If I select a gradient tool and click on it, like uh, this. Okay, 
so you have to apply gradient first and then if you click on the gradient tool you can see a line there because it's actually linear gradient and in the gradient palette there are several types of gradient you can use for example you can use linear gradient it will start from a linear uh, one solid color and end with another solid color with a line and you can always set the position of the color uh, strongness or anything you can also rotate the line like this so it will actually angle the gradient like that also you can use the radial gradient it will start from the center and it will go up like a circle so you can always rescale this type of gradient part and another important thing and uh, it is the uh, this tool is called the point gradient or free from gradient remember this tool is only available in uh, illustrator 2020 the previous version didn't have this uh, free from gradient options they have only linear and radial gradients with the uh, free from gradients you can see that you can add multiple gradient or color point in the shape for example if i click on edit gradient you can see there are already four points and each point have an individual color you can set the color from there so if you double click on there it will open the color picker window and you can always set any color from this or you can choose this so let's choose another color like this and select this point and double click on it set another color like that and to select uh, set a darker color to this so if i go below there there's a darker color and if i want to set another color or if i want to uh, eye drop pick any color from any part of the document you can use the eye dropper tool and just pick this color so you can see there are four points in the gradient options now if you i can also move this point here and there to the design my gradient options and you can also increase the area the effective of the area of the color especially another thing you can connect the gradient points with line so that its line will have a simple color and the other point others will be point gradient so let's select lines there and actually click on it and it will draw another line there so you see the middle part the actual line part is actually purple color and the other parts are green and black so these are the gradient option if you don't see the gradient option go to the window and select the gradient panel from that it's this one the next thing is a very important we can use use it all the time it is the eyedropper tool and what eyedropper tool does is actually if you are uh, for example if you're, there is this blue box there and uh, with a stroke like a uh, red color stroke that we set to like four or five points now i want to draw another box or i have drawn another uh, shapes or something like this shape now I want to I want this shape to have the properties of that shape like I want the field color to be blue and the stroke color to be red so what can I do I can change the color from this palette here but also I can select the color eyedropper tool and click on the source object it will immediately copy all the effects of this source object remember you cannot copy any effect with eyedropper tool for example if I want to stylized with the drop shadow there i have to review this drop shadow now i have any other color there now if i want to select eyedropper tool and click on it it will set the fill color and the stroke color but it will not copy the uh, drop shadow it will only copy the color properties or the type fonts anything so remember that another thing i can customize the object it picks from double clicking on it if i double click on it uh, there are several options what i want to pick from the picks up i can use color or i can disable the option uh, for example i have disabled the color it can also use color so now I, if i want to draw another shape that and stroke color with another color like pink now if you use eyedropper tool and click on it it will only pick up the stroke color it will not pick up the uh, inside the field color because I have disabled the option from the focal field color there so this is the and the next thing is the shape width tool it actually we do not use this tool as much uh, when using designing any poster or anything but it is a fun tool to create with for example I have a line there and the stroke is uniform stroke 
Now, if I want to increase the stroke at any point, you can just click and drag on it. You see, the object is still in line, but now you can actually increase the width of this point there. So if uh, you can increase our width shape of the point. So it is sometimes handy tool, but we do not use it as much. The next thing is a blend tool. Blending is an option. Uh, for example, you can blend uh, many objects in Illustrator. What blending actually means is that uh, let's create any playing card. For example, I have a playing card like this with a stroke or mm, oh, color, not so blue, and with red color. Let's stroke, let's stroke a little bit. So this is a playing card, suppose, and let's just copy it. And if you want to copy a playing card, you can like Control C there, Control C and Control V anywhere. You can copy and paste it. Also, you can do if you select and hold on the Alter button. You can see there is uh, the cursor has changed to two cursors. One is black and one is white fill. If you drag it, you can copy it easily. You can copy as much option you want. So what you want to do? Let's rotate it a little bit, and I want to fill the remaining position inside this row with uh, all some other cards too. So what we do is select both of them, go to the object panel, go to the blend option. And there's first of all, let's go to the blend option. In the spacing option, there is smooth color, specified steps, how many cards I want in between these objects. For example, if I want to see four cards only and select the orientation as they rotated, give okay. And then again, go to blend and just make the blend. You see, there are four objects in between. Now, if I want to, uh, they are all aligned in a single line. If I want to change the shape of the line, just use direct selection tool. And uh, let's add an anchor point there with our pen tool like this. And use direct selection tool to rotate the line. You see, it is actually following the line there. So this is the blend option in Illustrator. Another thing is the artboard selection tool. Because uh, first of all, I talked about artboard, which are like uh, the pages in the pages. So I am only using one artboard there. But if I want to see, create several artboard, you can select the artboard panel and go to properties. And there are this is the for an artboard of the first, so I can use it like art one. And if I want to create another new artboard, you can click on this button. It will create another. Artboard. Artboard comes handy when you have to use uh, several documents, which is, for example, uh, if you go to Play Store, you can see some of these uh, uh, keyboard, some app like this. Let's go to that. Some of the previews have one shape in here, and the another shape comes from exact the other side of the position. How can you match the exact point there? So, for example, I want to want a circle to be in both artboards and give it a fill color like this. Now, if I export the two artboards there, you have to copy it twice in the same up there. Now, if I export them, you can you'll see that this picture has only this part of the artboard, this part of the circle, and the next picture will have the right part of the circle. So you can uniformly set the object there. So this is the object of artboard tool. You can also move the artboard with this tool anywhere you want, or you can set the artboard properties. For example, if you want, this is 1960, uh, 960 by 1080 pixel with artboard. You can also change it to like 1000 by 1000. This comes handy when you have uh, like set the wrong size at first when creating the new document. But now you have to change the size of the artboard again. So you can use this artboard tool and give the custom sizes there. Uh, we don't need multiple artboards, so just delete them like this. And then there's the zoom tool. And zoom tool I have already talked about. You can just zoom in with it. And if you to zoom out, hold down the alt button, just zoom out with it like this. So this is the uh, this was the all the tools uh, in the basic Illustrator. If you want any more tools there, you can find them there. There are lots of tools there, but we do not usually need them when designing basic posters because Illustrator is a very big uh, software. 
it has lots of options and you can do many things with it with it but usually we are not interested in all of them because we cannot co cover all the uh, things in one one hour tutorial uh, the last thing there will be some uh, small things i want to talk about like the, i have already talked some of the palettes there gradient stroke transparency we will use transparency in the next class uh, within details and the align panel we will also talk about the align panel in the, that class color i have already used you have seen that i have, i can pick various types of color in the color palette from there and that thing is properties properties actually varies with the object if i use a circular object it will have properties like transform or x y shift if i use a text tool it will set the properties for the individual text like the font and the leading and right anything everything and the next thing uh, the, another important thing is the layer option because in illustrator you can there can be several layers it is usually very helpful to work with a single layer for example i have designed this uh, circle in one layer now i want to keep that circle locked i do not want to touch the circle for the rest of my design so what i can do i can create i have created already this layer i can lock it with this if i click on it there will be lock icon and if i again click on it it will be gone so let's lock it and let's create another new layer in top of it so you can click on this button create new layer and it will create a new layer now if i use a text for example uh, i want the text to be there this text now i can work with this we will not select the circle anymore i want it to be locked and it will be in below the text layer so it will come in handy when we will actually design a poster we will see how to design an actual poster so it will come in handy then so you can always use our hide or show a layer for example this is if i want to hide the circle layer i can select this one and it will hide the circle and i have already uh, and the other part is i have already the color palette there the first thing in the top of the bar is the fill color it actually creates the solid fill there the next thing is the stroke color, uh, the border actually, the border color for it. I have already disabled the border color. That's why there is a red slash there. If I want to give another color, I can give it with color palette there. You can actually don't see the color there. Sorry. Give it an, a stroke, like blue stroke. If you want to increase the stroke width, I have already increased with this. And you can also align the stroke. It is exactly in the middle or inside or outside the stroke, you can select it with this. Usually we use align middle stroke, but sometimes you can also use align stroke inside. You may, you may need it, but not always. And another thing is if you want to swap the colors, for example, I have orange in the uh, field color and outside there is blue. So what you can do, you can shift X, it will swap the color uh, in the stroke and fill. You can also click on this button, swap fill and stroke to do the same thing and lastly there is uh, this panel like the color is solid if i want to give it a gradient i can give it a gradient like selecting the fill and give it a gradient there and if i want to disable the fill color you can just click on this disable it will be disabled no color will be there also for the stroke i can do the same thing like gradient or disabling it so that was the first part of our workshop. I hope uh, everyone learned a lot, lot of things today. If anyone have any questions, now you can ask. Feel free to ask. Or karo jodi kono part ta abar dekhai dea lagye, amita dekhai dite parbo kono shomshon. Kono ekta tool jodi na puche thakye, or thoba kono ekta layer jodi na puche chhe. Ah, bhaiya, video recording thei pabo.
সো আর কারো যদি কোনো কোশ্চেন না থাকে আই होप আজকে এটাই আজকে পর্যন্ত শেষ করে দেয়া যায় সো গুড লাক एवरीवन কালকে হয়তো আমরা আবার জয়েন করব কালকে অ্যাকচুয়ালি পোস্টারটা যখন বানাবো তখন হয়তো এত ফাস্ট পেজ যাব না আর ধীরে ধীরে বাকি জিনিসগুলো এক্সপ্লেইন করা ট্রাই করা হবে আর পোস্টার বানানোর ক্ষেত্রে এত টুলের জানা পরিচিত করার দরকার নাই কারণ আমরা অলরেডি সব টুলগুলো সম্পর্কে জেনেছি কারো যদি আরো জানতে হয় সে ক্ষেত্রে কালকে তো আবার ডিজাইন করবই সমস্যা নেই সো দ্যাট ওয়াজ ইট so i can stop the presenting now so best thank of luck everyone thank, thank you bhaiya acha actor so bhai swap color er por amar net chole giyechilo er pore ki chilo acha swap color er por otai swap color er pore ar temon kichu hoy nai সোয়াপ কালারে পর যেটা দেখালাম যে সোয়াপ কালারের কিছু শর্টকাট গুলো খেয়াল রাখো শর্টকাট হচ্ছে লাইক আমি যদি সোয়াপ কালার করতে চাই ফর एग्जांपल আই हैव এটা শিফট এক্স দিলে আমার ওই জিনিসটা সোয়াপ হবে এটাই আর সোয়াপ কালারের পরে যে জিনিসটা সেটা হলো যে নিচে এই প্যানেলটার নিচে আমার তিনটা অপশন আছে একটা হচ্ছে সলিড কালার দেওয়ার জন্য এটা অ্যাকচুয়ালি আমার প্রিভিয়াস যে কালারটা দিয়েছিলাম সেটা মনে রাখবে নেক্সট হচ্ছে প্রিভিয়াস গ্রেডিয়েন্ট দেওয়ার জন্য so let's select like this add a gradient dite parbo or ami ekhane solid dite parbo othoba ami jodi kono color nai chai tokhon ami eta ei disable kore dite parbo dui tar jonno ami jeta niye kaaj korbo solid mane fill color hok othoba stroke hok ota select kore ami seta attribute dite parbo ekhan theke like this ओके सो दैट वाज इट बेस्ट ऑफ लक एवरीवन गुड बाय थैंक यू भैया थैंक यू सर